What's a thing you've bought impulsively? Without need. That's actually proved useful in your life? <laughs> Neighbor was moving away and had a yard sale. Bought a metal pipe for 50 cents. About 20 inches long and a diameter of 1 inches. Wife looked at me like I was half serial killer. Half idiot. Few months later, flat tire at 6.15 in the morning. Guess who easily loosed all the lug nuts in record time? This guy and his metal pipe. I originally read the measurements on your post to be 20 feet not inches and was really concerned with how tight the lugs are on your vehicle. An ornate scoop for coffee grounds. Every morning I use it I feel like my life is more together than it is. Yes. I splurged on a gold, fake, french press and it's nice to feel like a king for 12 seconds. People also think it was super expensive but it was like $30. I bought a water bottle, already have several that I use regularly, as a souvenir at a national park with my girlfriend because she had one like it. I now use that one every day because I like the cap mechanism. Tell me more of this cap mechanism. Big pack of assorted screws. Was at Home Depot and saw them. Said a. Why not? And bought them. I think was like $12. And I've used almost all of them. A. Why not? Ah. Screw it. A portable charger. It holds 11-12 full charges of my iPhone and I just bought it on a whim. It has literally changed my life like few other purchases have ever done. Seriously which one are you using? I'm planning a long trip next year and my current can barely charge twice. Pressure cooker. Didn't need one. I have a steamer and traditional pots. But always wanted to try one. Best buy ever. Reddit and people who use pressure cookers don't have a great history. Or at least people who Reddit mistakenly thinks uses a pressure cooker. The official Bob Ross Master Paint Set. Bought in February with no prior artistic experience. And have since painted 23 oil paintings. I don't really paint in Bob's style anymore. But it was a great way to get started learning. This is oddly wholesome. Colon. I'd love to see one of your pieces. A Roomba. It was on sale. Crazy cheap like 50% off. I bought it. We have an open floor plan and linoleum floors. It's so amazing. Our living room furniture is elevated enough that it fits under the couches. We have 4 cats that shed like crazy. But there is never hair or litter. Every day it vacuums the first floor and has been such a time saver. 10 stroke 10 would buy again and we did. Got one for the second floor and purchased an older model for each of our immediate family 4x Mars. I love my Roomba too. It was a gift and is without a doubt the best gift I have ever received. However. My joy comes from what I call the secondary effect of having a Roomba, and that is no shoes left out by the door. No backpacks left on the floor. No random socks left wherever, works on both kids and husbands. My armchair. I have just a little room and can't afford much. But this armchair really saves my evenings. I bought a rice cooker even though I don't eat much rice and don't particularly like it. It came with a vegetable steamer. I use that thing literally every day until I upgraded to an instant pot with a steamer basket. Colossal improvement to my nutrition and life in general. Instapot. Was looking into getting a rice cooker and opted for the Instapot instead. Best rice ever as well as being multi-purpose. We've used it maybe a dozen or so times in just a few months. Spent $100 on a dog bed made out of Kevlar, the stuff and bulletproof vests. The dog has been using it for 3 plus years now without tearing even a tiny hole in it. Much better than buying cheap $25 beds every couple of weeks. Plus your dog is now safe against the gagster moles stray bullets. 10 foot phone charger. I needed a new charger and it was on sale. So it was the cheapest option. But holy hell has it served me good. Need to roll over in bed but still charge? You can. Wanna sit anywhere on the couch and still charge? You can. Are you in the back seat of a car and in need to charge? You can. I bought 10 feet micro USB cables for my PS4 to use if I forgot to charge the controller and play. The kids and wife stole them to charge their Kindles. Really powerful flashlight. Like 900 lumens or something ridiculous. Used it to find my cat that got out the other night. 
spotted the reflection in her eyes in a nearby bush. Also good for lining up my oil filter when I do changes. An electric tire inflator. It was on sale for $19.95. So I bought two. One that plugs into a garage wall outlet. And the other stays in the car and plugs into the vehicle's utility outlet. Gone are the days of going to gas station air pumps, and sometimes having to pay for air. Found one at flea market for $3. Didn't think it would work. Bought it anyway. Thinking at least I will have fun opening it and trying to fix it. Worked perfectly. I have had it for years now. Paid for itself several times over. My neighbor's kids borrow it for their bikes. Pool hall offered a student membership. $20. I didn't plan to play much pool there. Or anywhere at the time. But I figured what the hell. Well one of the perks was $2 off drinks. Helped me become a functional alcoholic all through university and grad school. Ah. I haven't reached what I would call functioning alcoholic but I have reached the stage where I've started getting drunk off a brand of wine called Winking Owl sold at Aldi, at least here in the US. And it costs $3 a bottle, trust me you could do a lot worse for more money. 13.5% I'll go buy one and bring it to my apartment. Cork it. Pour as much as I can into a travel thermos. And put the rest in the fridge. Then go to the university library or wherever I decide to go to study. I've only done that once or twice. But still. I'm kind of ashamed for it but then I remember I could be doing a lot worse and those drunk study sessions certainly are not as unproductive as many sober study sessions I've had in the past because I have ADHD and sometimes my brain just can't effing do it. So anyway yeah I'll be wine. That or four loco. Watermelon is the only consumable flavor. And I only drink them if that's the only thing available. A brown heavy coat. Looks ugly as hell. But insulates so that I feel just like hell. 2. A lifesaver. Edit. I am not a native English speaker. And mistook insulates for isolates. Well. Nothing an ugly coat wouldn't do. Did something similar with a black leather trench coat. I was unexpectedly fired. Along. With other co-workers. But got some extra money. Since. I was depressed. Even with money. I pass a flea market with a rocker's metal stuff. Bought. The coat and some army boots. Dut. Which I used both. A lot in my next office suit job. At the rainy season. Nobody. Complained about my look. Black office shirt and trousers. Since. A lot my co-workers. Got very wet. Even with umbrellas. Just by walking. From the parking lot. To the office building. TDLR. Bought black leather trench coat. For industrial goth concerts. Ended in rainy office days. White gel pen. That thing is a godsend. Yes. This is a staple in my art and I don't know how I ever drew without one. A banana case. Used to always get smooshed banana. But no more. Some of us pay good money to get our banana smooshed. Food thermometer. I used it once but for measuring soil temps. Then I realized that I could take care of my lawn without being this anal about it. It stayed in the junk drawer for a while until I needed it to tell if my roast was done since I forgot to set my timer. Before. I would always cook according to time. Since using the thermometer that one day. I have been cooking according to internal temps. And my food has significantly improved. I can't believe how much I was overcooking my food and not realizing it. I love having a food thermometer. Even though my partner makes fun of me for using it on almost everything I cook. Not only meat. But also bread. Cakes. Baby bird food formula. ETC. I don't have a ton of cooking experience. So I don't always get good results by eyeballing things or relying on a timer. Our oven temperature isn't always consistent. Using the thermometer makes me more confident that things will turn out well. Historical video games have been the key to passing history. Koi 4 saves me in my geography tests. Only downside is my mental map of the world hasn't been updated since the 1940s. Until last year I thought Yugoslavia was still a country. Back in middle school. We still only had maps with the URSS. We knew it had disbanded. But we kept calling it the URSS because 
Well. We had it on the map. It was around 2007. A good soldering iron. I used to think I sucked at soldering because I was using a cheaper Walmart special that cost me $5. Turns out soldering is 90% equipment. 10% skill. With a good iron. Even I, with a really low skill score, can solder surface mount components without issue. Since I purchased my hacko. I've built several synthesizers from scratch. And they're some of my most prized possessions because I built them myself with my own two hands. I wouldn't have had the confidence to do that had I not found a good iron. 15% concentrated power of will. Picked up a little thumb wheel ratchet drive at a flea market for a buck. Just because it looked silly. Turns out. That little dude is super handy. So many motorcycle bolts have a tight clearance. And traditional handle drive can only get like 5 degrees of rotation. But the thumb wheel squeezes in there and gets big meaty turns. You can tighten bolts down to about 10 FTLBs. Then pop on a torque wrench to bring it to spec. Pickaxe. I live somewhere with rocky soil and dig lots of holes so it's saved me about 3 shovels by now. Why do you dig lots of holes? Back scratcher from the dollar store. Nintendo Switch. Now I'm early for all my appointments. I don't have a Switch. Could you please explain? I bought a really soft and fluffy comforter at Costco like a week ago for like $25 king size. It's so comfy. Toolbox was on sale at the checkout. Small one, not one of those big ones. $25 thought why not? Saved me so many times over the years. Electric toothbrush. Double use. Double use. You can also clean your dog's teeth with them too. Air fryer. It's amazing. 1800 watts of clean cooking power. That's amazing. Great for chicken. Not so much for french fries. Definitely a leatherman. I'd always had multi-tool type things. And my dad has a leatherman of his own. So I knew it was good. But just never bothered. One day I passed it in the Isle of Menards and thought why not. That son of a beach is so useful. Open boxes? Check. Cut paper? Check. Hang nail in an emergency? Check. Get splinters out? Check. Saw wood? Check. Much better than any previous multi-tool I had. It was worth the $60. Hell. Knowing what I know now. I'd even pay double that if I need a new one. I bought a popcorn bowl for the microwave. Okay hear me out it's made out of a microwavable plastic that allows you to pop the kernels without adding oil because it gets really hot and I think the shape of it helps. I use it to pre-cook veggies for the oven and as a serving bowl too. I swear as far as bowls go it's the best one ever. Okay. I'm going to chime in with our popcorn machine. We have a huge movie style bucket popcorn machine on a cart. Yes. It was expensive. Yes. It takes up a corner of a room. No. It doesn't do anything but make popcorn. It's basically all of my appliance rules broken in one item. Was it one of the best purchases we've ever made? Darn tootin. A lockpick set. I wanted it as like a mini puzzle for my own old locks or the practice lock that came with it. I ended up having a friend's girlfriend lose her money box key for their fundraiser thing they did every week. She wanted a new box and just needed the money out so I actually managed to get it open so she could get the cash out. Literally bought the set for like 8 bucks on Amazon for fun. Swiss Army card. Think a Swiss Army knife in credit card form. Have used it every day no exception since I got it. Motorcycle. I used my brief riding experience to talk to Adas on why they need better detection of motorcycles BCA kinda was not a good answer. But my little talk made the company go out and purchase specific motorcycle targets to more accurately detect and respond to motorcycles. Apple Watch. Bought it randomly in an Apple store one day because I just like having the latest tech. It very quickly found a heart condition and according to my doctor quite likely saved my life. Aside from that it's useful for streaming music at the gym and generally makes me use my phone less. It also tells time. Jolene. My pound pup. I have schizoaffective disorder. She helps calm my thoughts and hallucinations. 
jolinamga.com link. Sorry for the long wait. Not IRL but I found out that in Pathfinder, a game similar to DND, you could purchase a Mithril Waffle Iron for 2500 GP. One of the final bosses of a dungeon we were clearing about a month or so later was named the Butcher and we had to defeat him via a cook off. My waffles infused with holy might caused the boss, who was also judge, to choke on the very first bite and we reigned victorious. I had to reread this because I thought the GP bought you a real life waffle iron which would have been extra dope. Make sure to like and subscribe so we can watch together.